How to bring in a relief from 3D Model Club, create a hollow model, and machine the model created. First we're going to create a new project and click on the model folder and we're going to create a flat work area to bring our relief in. Give your model a name and we're going to make the dimensions 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters and click on the check to accept and we now have a work area to go ahead and bring our relief into we are going to do so first let's expand our work area by pasting a relief from our file. You should have downloaded the relief to a folder and unzipped it. And we're going to go to that folder and you will get a preview of the relief. Let's go ahead and select our relief. And we get the 3D clip art dialog box and if you look, you will notice the outline of our piece is much larger than our work area. We're going to click on the scale tab and quickly and roughly scale it down. Click on apply. Move it onto the work area. And if you want to center it, we will click on the Center in Page tool. And finally, paste our relief in place. Let's go ahead and close the dialog box and take a look by previewing the relief layer see it shaded, showing us what is available in the 3D view. Now we are ready to create a back relief and hollow the piece out. We screw, go down to the back relief tools and the first icon is offset composite to back. Go ahead and click on that tool and I'm going to give this a thickness of 1.5 millimeters and click OK. And what you see on the screen is the back relief. We will switch now back to the front relief. And now it is time to combine the two reliefs into a single solid model. We do so by clicking on the Create Triangle Mesh tool. The choices we make are close with a back relief and then create triangles. Once the work is done, you will see a blue wax-like model. Let's go ahead and scroll this around and there you see that the model has been hollowed out to a thickness of 1.5 millimeters. If we are happy with what we see, we will scroll on down and add our mesh to our project. We will get an acknowledgement that that worked correctly. And we can close the mesh creation tool. 
Now we will switch to the Project tab, expand the Model folder, right-click and close our model, and we will update the project with the changes to that model. Now we are looking at our actual 3D model as a part of the assembly. If we expand that folder, we will see that we have our pirate as a separate assembly. Click on the assembly tool and now we are ready to create a tool path. With the assembly highlighted, we're going to come down to the 3D machining wizard. Click on that icon. There will be a default location for the machining output. You can change that if you want to. The default location is going to be under tool paths. And we can give this a name. And now we can go ahead and edit the settings for the toolpath we're going to cut. This is a flat piece. We will leave the resolution at the default setting. We will select Flip Machine Solid because we are not making a mold. We can select Material if we choose to and center our object in the material. I'll make this piece 10 millimeters thick. And the other dimensions are based on the wax that you have to cut or whatever material. Bridges will hold the piece in as it cuts from both sides. I have selected eight. I'm going to take that number down to six and leave the size at 1.5 millimeters width, one millimeter thick. And with all the decisions made, we will go ahead and click on the check mark and the tool pass will automatically be created. program will automatically flip the piece to cut the back side and we'll continue to do a number of processes until the tool paths are created. The program will create both the front and back reliefs and notify you when it is done. And the final toolpath will be located in the toolpath folder on your hard drive. Click OK. Go back to your project tab and close the machining folder. And that is how to bring a relief in and create a toolpath for it.